Today, we're going to go over the top 10 PPA receivers that are returning for the 2022 season in the Power 5. Now, we'll do G5 uh, later on this week, but this is, I found this to be interesting. So I'm hoping that you do as well. I'm curious your thoughts. Reach out on YouTube in the comment section or just to hit me up on Twitter, at GaryWCE. But we're going to go on and pull this up. I've got two different tables here that we're going to look at. The returning receivers as far as PPA per play. These are the guys that are basically the most valuable receivers that score more often, that are able to get you more. Their plays are worth more on a per play basis, right? And we'll start off with, let's start off with number 10 here, down at the bottom. Uh, Parker Washington, wide receiver at Penn State, had 81 countable plays where he touched the ball. Uh, his PPA was .93. And so not quite a point uh, predicted every time he touched the ball. Parker Washington's fantastic. Now, if he's got a quarterback that can actually get him the ball, that's going to be something serious. So you got to hope that Sean Clifford stays healthy this year. Zay Flowers, wide receiver at Boston College, uh, as long as Phil Dracovich is healthy this year, I think you're going to see his countable plays go up. He had 59 last year. I think you're going to see a lot more of him at BC in his final season there. Marshawn Ford, the tight end at number seven, excuse me, at number eight at Louisville. Like it, Malik Cunningham likes to rely on his tight end. He can also run the ball, etc. He does have some wide receivers that he will be rolling with this year, but 55 catches there. Uh, nearly one point predicted per attempt there. I think you're going to see a lot of Marshawn Ford. Number seven is Mitchell Tinsley. Now, he was at Western Kentucky. Obviously, Zach Kitley leaves to head over to Texas Tech. Bailey Zapp, of course, gets drafted in the NFL. Mitchell Tinsley heads over to Penn State. Penn State is the only school on here that has two in the top ten. If Clifford is healthy and if he has improved at all in his last season, the first time that he will have ever had the same offensive coordinator in back-to-back seasons, by the way. Uh, you're going to see a lot of Mitchell Tinsley along with Parker Washington, I do believe. Virginia. Everybody knows about Brennan Armstrong. Everybody knows about their tight end that they had last year. But Dontavian Wicks is the guy that really generated the most points for him. Uh, 86 countable plays and .966 predicted points added per play on that uh Virginia, I mean, they got weapons. The issue, of course, for Virginia is going to be their offensive line, but we'll we'll see exactly what goes on with that. Number five, Xavier Hutchinson, a uh, wide receiver at Iowa State. Hunter Deckers is going to love having him. Um, this, you know, we'll see what he is, but he is he was fantastic last season. Seventy three countable plays there. I think we'll see more of him because they lost a ton of playmakers from last year's team. Isaiah Nair went from Wyoming over to Texas, and I think you see why he's number four on this list. Uh, 57 countable plays. Wyoming loved to run the football. When you had a stud like this at wide receiver, you should have been getting him the ball at almost every opportunity that you could. Texas will be able to use him quite a bit. Of course, there is Worthy, the wide receiver, over there as well. If Quinn Ewers is any good, Nayer is going to be awesome in that offense. Number three is Cedric Tillman. He and Hennon Hooker have been lights out together. 84 countable plays for Cedric Tillman. Uh, over one point predicted per play on this, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba, of course. Of course, everybody knows that. You saw what he did in the Rose Bowl. You saw what he was able to do all of last season, really. Even with uh, Olave and Wilson, etc., you still had 109 plays for him that, that were countable where he was able to uh, get predicted points added there. And then finally, number one, Jacob Cowing. He is transferred over to Arizona from UTEP. Countable plays, 70. I think you're going to see a lot more passing plays at Arizona, especially if you got somebody like Jaden Delora throwing you the ball. Uh, Arizona's offense has got some studs on it. They have got some players. Uh, I mean, one almost one and a half points per play on this predicted. I mean, he is so valuable, so valuable. And then we'll look at this. This is Power Five returning receivers total PPA. So basically, what you're looking at is who who makes the most plays overall. Right, like it may not be the same per average, or per play on average, but what you've got is who can you count on the most, right? Who makes the most big plays? Number one, of course, Jackson Smith and Jigba. Uh, number two is Jordan Addison. Now he had 130 countable plays, 115 total PPA here. 
Uh, Jacob Cowing is three in this one. Cedric Tillman is four. You already saw those. A.T. Perry at Wake Forest. At absolute stud wide receiver for Sam Hartman and that Dave Clawson offense. Josh Downs is number six uh, at North Carolina. He had 140. The most plays on this list, on, on this top ten list. Number seven, Dontavian Wicks. We talked about him. Jaden Reed at Michigan State had 95 plays and had 81.375 average PPA overall. Um, you've got Parker Washington at nine, and then you've got Xavier Hutchinson at Iowa State. Uh, you already had those two on the list above. These guys are going to be the studs. They're going to be your most valuable players coming into this season. They've already proven it, basically. You already know what you got there. So these are the guys that I would look out for coming into this season. And we're going to have the G5 version of this later on. I believe on Thursday show. Uh, probably while I'm flying over Las Vegas. I'll probably have to record this one early. But regardless, on Thursday show, we'll be knocking out the G5 version of this. And there are some studs. Absolute studs. Uh, go look at it, Houston. Go look at it, UTSA. Go look at Charlotte. Charlotte. That's just a little little precursor for you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.